Diversity means that actually you can look at a pollen grain and tell what species it came from. And that's actually quite handy if you uh, maybe have a sample and you want to see where it came from. So different species of plants grow in different places, and some pollen carries further than others. So if you have a pollen sample, then in principle, you should be able to tell where that sample came from. And this is where it gets interesting for forensics. Pollen is tiny, it gets onto things, and it sticks to them. So not only does each type of pollen look different, but each habitat has a different combination of plants, a different pollen signature, if you like, or a different pollen fingerprint. By looking at the proportions and combinations of different kinds of pollen in a sample, you can tell very precisely where it came from. This is some pollen embedded in a cotton shirt, similar to the one that I'm wearing now. Now, much of the pollen will still be there after repeated washings. Where has it been? Four very different habitats might look similar, but they've got very different pollen signatures. Actually, this one's particularly easy. These were all taken in different countries. But pollen forensics can be very subtle. It's being used now to track where counterfeit drugs have been made, where banknotes have come from, to look at the provenance of antiques and see that they really did come from the place that the seller said they did. And murder suspects have been tracked using their clothing, in, certainly in the UK, to within an area that is small enough that you can send in tracker dogs to find the murder victim. So you can tell from a piece of clothing to within about a kilometre or so where that piece of clothing has been recently and then send in dogs. And finally, and rather in a rather grisly way, the Bosnia war crimes. Some of the people brought to trial were brought to trial because of the evidence from pollen, which showed that bodies had been buried, exhumed, and then reburied somewhere else. I hope I've opened your eyes, if you excuse the visual pun, <laughs> to some of pollen's secrets. This is uh, horse chestnut. There's an invisible beauty all around us, each grain with a story to tell, each of us, in fact, with a story to tell from the pollen fingerprint that's upon us. Thank you to the colleagues at Kew, and thank you to palynologists everywhere.